Hey guys, I'm going to show you a quick video here how I track my expenses. Um, this is actually from 2016 when I was making huge payments on my car, right? So you're driving more than part-time, your car is your number one tool. Um, this is Google Sheets. Um, look at column 11 there, car payment. So I was making double and triple the car payments needed, to like an even thousand dollars a few months. I think I paid it off in June. Yeah, because there was no more. So I was able to pay off my Prius really fast, less interest to the bank, and then that was also a deduction I used, right? Because that's your number one tool for your job as an Uber or Lyft driver, right? And I also had an Airbnb business at the bottom there with more, got a lot more stuff going on down there. But let's focus on just the value of using Google Sheets. And then every week, your receipts are going to pile up in your car, right? So you want an envelope either stick it under your visor or in your, it might blow out your window if you do that, but I used to do it under my visor because it's right there to grab. So I do a car wash or I do a, you know, fill up my gasoline, stick the receipt in there. Even if it's a credit card payment, I would get the receipt just as a record and then put it in an envelope in my car. Then when I get home um, each week, like on a Sunday or a Monday, I just religiously one day a week, put in the numbers and then just keep adding that for that monthly column and then you'll know what your numbers are and then certain things maybe deduction now it might not be in the future put them on there anyways so you have a record of it right like my parking um i, I probably couldn't use my parking like when i went to the gym to work out and i got stuck because i was longer than three hours probably can't deduct my parking but um in that case but there are other cases where you might be able to so put it on there anyways and then this is free with uh, Google Sheets. So go to sheets.google.com and then you can um, create a free spreadsheet. And then certain columns, you can make it so it totals up everything for you really fast. So like um, here's 2017. Um, and I'm not saying I'm doing it the best way. I'm just saying this is the way I like to do it where I don't have to pay for another software or anything like that. So like look at column 15 here on the end, right? So look at the bottom, see how it says FX, that's a function. And you can go, if you manually type this in, but you do equal sign, then you do like N14, so column N14, where it says 350.5 plus N13, right? So I go up the list, so that's adding up all of those totals for the months um, or across one way or the other. You can total, so you can total it up each month, see what your monthly expenses were. I didn't take the time to do all that, but I did the, the total yearly expenses for the, my business, right, as a driver. And then I had my Airbnb business that year, which was much more busy than my Lyft and Uber business. But so I got smart, made sure I put on my column 13, taxes and licenses, paying for your, you know, your yearly registration sticker. It's like, you know, 100 bucks your vehicle registration or getting your, your your driver's license every four years in California, for example. So you want that to be on there. Um, if you have a receipt for it and it's, you know, you might as well put it in there just so you have a record of it. All right. So this is how I do it. Google Sheets. Then I use creditkarma.com to file my taxes for free. I got everything spelled out in front of me. Uh, it gets weird because the tax service online will call it something else than what you're calling it so you got to be ready for that it might be worth just going to h&r block or paying a professional because you can also deduct your professional services with your tax accountant that is also a tax deduction i'm told all right or I, i'm sure it is okay so thanks for watching the video that's a little something i do with google sheets to track my expenses thanks for watching subscribe for more